Hey, Zach Tarkar from Reaching Excellence. In this video, I want to give you seven daily routines of successful people. So stay tuned. Okay, so what I want to do in this video is give you seven daily routines. This is actually my daily routine that allows me to kind of really get the most out of my day and be super, super successful, super productive, and also happy as well. So this is like me being productive, me doing the most amount of stuff I can do without being stressed or overwhelmed. So let's dive into this, okay? So the first thing I want to do is give you my morning routine, okay? So here's my morning routine. First thing I do is I wake up at 5 a.m. Now there's, people have got polarizing views about this. Some people say you should, some people say you shouldn't. I like to get up at 5 a.m. because this is where I find that I am my most productive, okay? So I get up at 5 a.m., give myself a little bit of time to wake up. First thing that I do is I smile and then I make my bed. Now, people say to me, why do you smile? Well, getting out of bed at 5 a.m. in the morning, especially when it's cold, you know, it's snowing out right now at the time of me filming this video, it's not always a nice thing to do. So by smiling, you hack your physiology. You basically hack and manipulate your own state so you feel good about getting out of bed in the morning, okay? And then go do some breathing exercises just to get myself oxygenated. So uh, this can just be some kind of uh, yoga breathing or sometimes this can be just taking a little walk or a little bit of exercise. In essence, what I want to do is get blood circulating around my body, get myself oxygenated because this is going to wake up my mind, okay? Next thing I'm going to do is go and take a wash, quick shower. Then I'm going to make my bed. Um, that gives me a sense of accomplishment. And then I'm going to dress in clothes that I've kind of taken out the night before. Now, you might think, why am I doing that? Well, here's the kind of key thing around doing this. Um, there's a concept called decision fatigue, which means the more you think about things, the more it's going to tie, kind of take up your mental real estate. It's going to take a lot of your mental energy. So if we can eliminate the things that we need to think about, it's less time. I just put the clothes on. It's done, okay? Next thing that I do is I review my goals for the day. So what I'm doing is setting in setting an intention. What is it that I want to achieve today so that I don't get distracted by other things? So look, here's my day. What do I want to achieve? What are my most important things to achieve? And I'll review my goals for the day. And then the next thing I'll do after that is I'll meditate, okay? Now, I meditate after reviewing my goals because it just helps me to set an intention. So uh, when it comes to meditation, there's different ways you can do it. Um, there's some very simple, easy ways of doing things. Why meditate? Because it gets your mind really focused, gets it sharp, and it helps you to kind of control your thoughts. It helps you to stop being hijacked by your thoughts and be an observer so you know what thoughts to go down and what to kind of you know, think about and, and what to kind of ignore. I think science research says there's something like 65,000 thoughts you have every day. So you need to pay attention to them. Are those thoughts going to get you towards your goals or are they just kind of trivial things that we think about, okay? So that's meditation. So that's the first thing. That's the first part of my routine. The next part is my work routine. So what I do is the first four hours of my day, I do my highest value, most creative, uh, creative work possible as close to waking up. And the reason for that is because science and research shows that those first four hours of your day, you are in your most productive, most creative, and you're, in essence, your brain capacity is at its best, okay? So I want to kind of catch that uh, catch that wind, so to speak, or, or, or surf the crest of that wave when I know I'm in peak performance so I can do my best value tasks. So that might be things like uh, complicated tasks, shooting videos, um, you know, putting together uh, uh, deals, that kind of stuff. Anything that takes a lot of mental energy, I want to do that first off. Anything that needs me to be very creative, I do that first thing in the morning, okay? So the other thing that I do part of my morning routine is I keep my phones in another room. I make sure there is no distraction. So my phones go off in another room, they go on silent. My team, my PA, everyone knows not to co contact me or disturb me before uh, midday because they won't get hold of me. I've made sure that they can't get hold of me because I want to do my most productive work. The minute that you get distracted, you answer a text message, you go and like, you know, respond to an email or whatever, before you know it, your focus and attention has been diluted. And when you have to reorientate yourself with doing a task again, um, you might think you can multitask, okay? And it's very easy to fall into the idea of thinking, if I'm doing two tasks, I'm putting 50% of my attention in into both of them. Actually, you're not. Science and research has shown that if you're doing two tasks, you're only actually able to give 40% of your attention because every time you go to do one of the tasks, you waste 10% of your time, focus, and, and attention reorientating yourself. So just do one thing at a time, and give it 100% of your focus, okay? Another part of my work routine is I use um, enhanced music. So what does that mean? I use something called Focus at Will. 
It's music that, that has binaural beats in it. It basically gets you into a trance-like high-performance state, and it can increase your productivity by anything up to 400%. So great when you're doing any kind of creative work. Um, you've also got something called Brain FM. All this helps you to work. It helps you to get in the zone, helps you to get in the flow, and then it just helps you to beat your kind of peak performance, okay? So let's talk about the next part of my daily routine, which is eating, okay? I intermittently fast, okay? I have an eating window from about midday, uh, to about 8 p.m. So it's an eight-hour feeding window. The rest of the time I'm fasted, okay? There's lots of health benefits around doing this, but also when I fast, I have great mental clarity. I drink water when I'm in, in a fasted state, but I won't have any food or anything with any calories in it, okay? This, number one, it helps me to have serious mental clarity. It, help, it helps with the body. It helps with flushing out like toxins and things like that. That really, really helps, okay? Uh, when it comes to me like actually eating, when I break my fast, I tend to have plant-based foods, okay? Um, this is just because it's cleaner, it's easier for the body to digest and you don't go into food comas. This keeps me, uh, for the rest of the afternoon, it keeps my energy levels up. You know, if you go and eat a big dinner or something that's heavy, you're going to go into a food coma because it takes a ton of energy. And if you're, you're focusing all your energy on digesting food, you're not going to be having the energy up here to do the things that you want to do, okay? One of the things I also do is after I've eaten is I go and take a 15 minute walk and this actually helps to stabilize your blood sugars, okay? It stops you from getting in that kind of food coma and also the, you know, oxygenating yourself really, really helps, okay? So the next part of my kind of routine is my health, okay? So once I've done, um, I guess my eating, a little bit later on, I kind of go and do some intense cardio. So I'll go and do some intense cardio. I'll go and do some HIIT training, which is high interval uh, intensity training. I'll sometimes do some work. After I've done that, I will go take a cold shower. So cold showers, you might be thinking, why on earth would you want to do that? Why are you a glutton for punishment? Well, a lot of health benefits of doing it. Um, wakes you up, uh, makes you mentally sharp, but also it's very good for detoxing the body. It's very good for cleaning the cells out and everything else. So this is what I would do. And then I would also drink a perfect amount of water. So, you know, your brain uh, needs a lot of water. A lot of time people are dehydrated and they just don't even realize it, okay? So I drink anything from three and a half to like five liters of water a day. Um, I don't drink normal water. I don't like tap water. Um, there's a lot of reasons why you shouldn't. There's a lot of, uh, you know, from research, there's a lot of stuff in it. It's not that great for you. Bottled water is going to be better for you as long as it's not tapped, but, you know, uh, bottled tap water. Uh, mineral water is better. Um, also, I drink distilled water because it's purer. It just means my body hydrates uh, quicker and I can feel myself, you know, if I haven't drank enough water, I'm not as mentally sharp, you know. So that's kind of my, my, my kind of health uh, routine. Then in the nighttime, like what my routine is, is slightly different. I have like a, a kind of deadline where I want to finish by sort of 6 p.m. I want to kind of finish what I'm doing by 6 and that gives me a couple of hours then to sort of wind down, chill, relax, do what I want to do. And then by 8 p.m. I like to plan for the next day. So this is me getting my clothes out. This is me kind of planning what I want to do, kind of thinking about what I want to achieve for the next day and just having that intention there in my mind. Because the thing is, if I think about what I want to do and think of what, of what I've done throughout the day, that allows me to close the loops in my mind. So what is a loop? A loop is like a thought that's open, you know? Sometimes we can think about what we didn't do and then we're thinking about it at night. If we actually think about what we did do and then we move what we didn't do to the next day, it allows our mind to be still and calm before we go to bed, okay? So that's pretty much my, my, my strategy for, for my evening kind of nighttime routine. Um, I then want to get into a place where I am starting to wind down. So this will be by, by sort of 8.30 p.m. My phones go off. I've got no screens. I don't want to be watching anything, you know, that's going to kind of uh, put light on my face because that's going to trick my body into thinking it's sunlight. Uh, it's going to stop my natural circadian rhythms for wanting, making me want to go to sleep. Um, the other thing I'd say is that I would also avoid things like caffeine. Uh, if you drink alcohol, then don't drink alcohol because that will have an impact on your sleep. If you are going to drink caffeine, make sure you have your last kind of cup of coffee or caffeinated drink by 2 p.m. because it stays in your system and it will affect the quality of your sleep. So my nighttime routine is make sure I don't have any of those things that are going to affect the quality of my sleep. And then from about 8.30 p.m., it's really wind down time till 10. Uh, that might mean I do something a little bit kind of boring. I won't watch a movie. I won't watch anything that's going to be stimulating. Uh, I might read a book, and that's just going to help me to wind down and prepare for my day. So that's my routine. That's what I do. It works a treat. And this is what I teach to my mastermind members as well. Um, if you go and put this stuff into practice, it's going to help you find what works for you, adapt what doesn't. And uh, just hopefully this is going to help you to be way more productive, way more successful in what 
what you do. So if you like this video, please put your comments below. Let me know what kind of things that you do. Let me know what you, um, uh, you know, what you've done that hasn't worked, uh, what you do are doing that is working. And if you've got any questions, again, put them in the comments below. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care. Bye for now.